Hello, welcome. Um, so anyways, um, today we're going to be doing goat kennel water. Now, I'm going to be testing this for two things. I'm mean, testing it for drinkability and whether you would use it in one of your dishes. Let's say you're... Or, you know, if you're mixing a cocktail, you know, sometimes coconut water would be good, like pina coladas and whatnot. Anyways, so let's get started. Um, I have a small bit of variety. <laughs> Um, it's because, like, it's the holidays, Thanksgiving's coming up, so everything's going out the store faster than you can say footage. Anyhow, let's get started. Okay, this one, um, correct me in the comments below if I'm pronouncing this wrong, called Zico? Zyko? Uh... Well, it's pretty good. This one I would definitely, um, definitely cook with. I would definitely drink this on a regular basis, you know, if I felt like spending however much it costs to get this. Anyways, um, yeah, so this one, not too bad so far. Five out of five stars. Um, this other one comes in the can. And you already know how I feel about cans. They can just be good or bad. There is no in between with cans. <laughs> so, anyways, let's give this one a try. Now, this one right away, uh, you can see it says with pulp. So, if you don't know what that means, like, uh, pulp is the little bits of actual coconut that they like scrape out of there and they cut into like these little squares and uh... they for some reason whoever thought about this kind of like the orange juice like the orange is pulp is that little uh... rind i guess anyway so they put that in there and um... for some reason uh... i don't know i don't like to chew my drink this thing, but it is pleasant, but, you know, if you don't like chewing a drink, <laughs> this is good. <laughs> um, but I wouldn't cook with this stuff. Um, but it's, it's okay. They use a different variety of coconuts for this one. Um, I believe they use a younger coconut. And, um, this particular product is, uh, from Thailand. Okay, and if you read the back, it says product of Thailand. Um, but they use a different coconut. Anyways, enough about that. But uh, I'd give it three out of five stars. It's okay, I guess. And this one, it just says uh, Fresco. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Again, I'm not. My Spanish is okay, but it's not the best. Oh yeah, this one's good. It says, uh, hydration, hydrated by nature. Okay. Anyways, um, okay, so yeah, so again, um, it's okay. I guess it's good to drink, or maybe it's just me, I, maybe I just like coconut water, but this one's good to drink, uh, but I would not cook with this one. Um, because did they put some stuff in here, um, which I wouldn't cook with. Uh, for example, it has 12 grams of sugar. This is not the natural sugar. I do believe that they added sugar to this. It says 100% pure coconut water, but it doesn't specify if they add sugar to it, and it just tastes like they add sugar to it. And, um, and they also add, oh, okay. Yeah, so they added a little bit more sugar. This one would be okay for me to drink or for you, the viewers, to drink. But um, I definitely want to cook with this because they do add some stuff to it. Um, it says on the back of the label. So just be careful, though, especially depending on what you're trying to cook. If you want to cook something with it, like a dessert, you don't want to, or like like a, uh, if you want to cut something with it, like a curry, something along those lines, you probably don't want to have too much sugar because it can really mess up the goal you're trying to do. Um, 
And this one, they only had it in the big size, but I guess like the lady behind the counter uh, was like, oh yeah, we only have it in the big size. Because they, they use this, uh, I guess people use this a lot, this particular brand a lot, and um, for like make, making drinks like pina colada, stuff like that, and they supposedly the lady said this was like the best, but I don't know. <laughs> Mm, this one's pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna give this one five out of five. Um, and they don't have this one. Doesn't have this one actually has less sugar than this. Um, so, but this is also bigger. So, smaller size might have a lot less sugar. But um, cooking wise, drinking wise, this is a pass. So. These two, I would say, uh, are my go-tos that I would. Although, depending on what you're making, you can just pick up coconut milk. Uh, but those are for more like pies or if you're gonna bake something because that, those could take heat a lot better than this. But this can take heat pretty well. Um, I don't know if you ever you guys used coconut oil or whatnot, but yeah. But there you go. Um, top two here. Um, can't decide, so this is both pretty much tied for first place. These are both good. Five stars for drinking, five stars for cooking. Um, definitely. So if you like my videos, please like and subscribe. And thank you very much for watching. Until next time, this has been Chef Brad.